After its emergence in 1955, the coconut beetle and its effects subsided for quite a bit. However, it re-emerged in 2003 and has been limiting the production of coconut on the island ever since. Troy Augustine, agronomist within the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, who is responsible for coconuts, decided to continue with an education drive for farmers, which started in 2019, on the best way of containing the beetle, thus significantly reducing the negative effects it has on coconut trees. On Thursday, at a farm located at Belvedere St. Andrew, Augustine coordinated a field training with farmers in that area, highlighting controlled measures for the pest, something he said he learned during a training in Brazil. You would see it flying around most, um, a lot during the dry season, and early in the morning or very late in the afternoon. And persons not knowing what they are, they just see the coconut tree dying. The action of this beetle is to lay eggs at the top of the coconut. The, the larvae would tunnel inside of the tree and you would eat the whole inside of the tree. It's very soft inside. And then you have small nuts dropping, the leaves start turning yellow, and you start seeing the tree oozing, a lot of liquid. The controlling of the beetle is best with the use of a trap made from plastic bottles. He explains. It's a trap that works with um, sugarcane as the feed. So there's also a pheromone, right? It's called a rinkolo. So the rinkolo would attract the beetles from one mile, two mile down the road. They would come towards the trap. The beetle would fly, enter the trap, go down inside of the trap. Whilst they're feeding, they're secreting a pheromone. So you have this pheromone and the pheromone that the beetle feeds on. When this happens, you get more beetles coming towards that trap because male and female beetles will be in here. And then what you're having is um, a feeding frenzy. Then, then you would get a lot of beetles in the trap, which you have to empty after a while. One of the participating farmers, Carlton Gully, is grateful for the opportunity to learn. It's a long time we're noticing the, the coconut beetle. And um, I think it's getting worse and worse. And I think farmers are very concerned of what's taking place. Because if you look at this farmer here, nice raw coconut all inside and it's within his being stage you now that we could benefit something and it's just keep dying and dying and I'm glad to know that the ministry take the objective to look at it and to come and to engage farmers and able to do something to train farmers to able to counteract the, the, the uh, beetle because coconut is a very good thing at the market it sell a lot and um, if we continue like the beetle continue to do that with our coconut you know just now we'll have to input coconut as well we input in all of the things come in this country so i hope that the, today session will be a good session with the name of having farmers completely educated on the coconut beetle more sessions will be held periodically throughout the island for the ministry of agriculture i am karima lewis